Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Foundation's Blueprint. It's the last Heroli on our way to Starting Point 2024, where we're going to have the Fine Print Preview Show, we're going to have the Hall of Fame, and we're going to have lots of highlight matches, including A-list Alverson redefining greatness. But before we get there, we got to get through right here. We got some nice matches on the show today. As you may recall, at the end of last week, AEP got a Super Smash beatdown by Super Smash promo, and then he got bootled up again on Wild Out Wednesday over in WGP. But today he's gonna try and turn his fortune around as he takes on Soul Star. Let us get to the first encounter of the evening. AEP, it's time for the beatdown, the mutilation. I cannot wait to hurt you. I cannot wait tonight. I'm gonna do what I want. And you're gonna see how much I really don't like it at all. You know, this blood right here, this is the blood of my past opponent. I look at this blood as a badge of honor. Like when you're the um, a Girl Scout, a Boy Scout, you know, you get the, the badges, right? Badges of honor, you know. This is my badge of honor, which you having your blood on my shirt and then your blood is gonna be on my hand as I beat you senselessly with everything that I got. Every weapon of my disposal, I got baddie. I can get a chair, a ladder, a table, anything I choose to use, AEP. Let's talk about, you know, you. You got all this right here, this is what you call, it's all a, um, all this is a package deal. The way you look, the way you talk, the way you act, the way you carry yourself inside and outside the ring. But why do you think you got uh, that participation award? Because you're not that great, AEP, come on now. You get, you slowly get worse every single time, like you don't get better. You were never good to begin with. The problem is you had people that used to gaslight you up, that kissed your ass, sucked your, you know what I'm saying? To, to, to make you think that you're so great. But you know, you know you, they know you're not great, but they feel bad for you, they feel bad. They don't want you to be upset to go home and cry because you lost. You know, no, they'll make, they'll make you feel good. We'll give you a lollipop, make you feel a little better, okay? Oh, sana, sana. Yeah, that's what they're gonna do, but see, you are nothing. Hey, you the total opposite, because you're pathetic. You are a loser. That's why I called you an ass clown. You're an ass clown in this business. And the way you talk. Who, no one cares what you have to fucking say. No one cares. You know, no one wants to hear you. I don't want to hear you. SNES don't want to hear you. AJ don't want to hear you because we don't like you. You understand that? No one will ever like AP. You will never be likable. You will never have a big career to fall back on. You will never hear the words AP. Living. Legend. AEP. Icon. Never. Never. Because look at you talk the way old people have sex. Slow and incoherent. And here where it matters tonight, you are not going to win. Here tonight, you're going to lose once again. And by a larger margin, you did even last time and the time before that. And you see, I have weapons on hardcore matchup. Batty. Bash you in the head. I use my steel chair. Hit you with the chair. And then I'll break this on your back or wrap it around your neck and get you in that cross face and make you tap out that way however I see fucking fit because guess what AP this is gonna be the end tonight huh I don't know I'm sorry SES I don't know if there'll be anything left by the time I'm done you know when I'm done this is gonna be your blood right here AP this is gonna be your blood right here on my hands where I beat you down inch by inch piece by piece cause you effing suck I said it, everybody knows it, I'm saying what everybody sometimes don't want to have to say to tell you the damn truth, the gospel truth. I get it, I get it, being a man of God myself, I, I get it AP, you claim to be, I doubt it, you know, but God was loving God, but he was just, he brought in for punishment, and you cannot do bad things AP in your life, and not get away with it, and tonight, I'm going to give you the punishment you deserve, where I get you in the face, and you in the face. I get my boots and I stomp on you as hard as I can, AP, because tonight the F and original Soul Star is gonna put a halt on the career of AP. Always eating pizza, excruciating, agonizing promos. That's what you are, AP. Send your ass packing. Send your ass packing. Send you to the back, to the hospital. That, well, that's what I need to do. I need to do. I'm sorry, 
SES, I may have to take you that far, I'm not sure, but tonight is going to be over. Tonight, your ass is going to be grass, and tonight the verdict is going to be you are a guilty man. You are going to F around, and you are going to find out what do tenant. And guess what? Case closed. Soul Star, Soul Star, Soul Star. We supposed to be cool. We supposed to be friends. We supposed to be buddies. No, you turn it back on me, Soul Star. And you talk about you're better than me. You funny. You are. If you're better than me, why you and your tag team partner, AJ Storm, now win the Foundation Tag Team Championship? Matter of fact, why you not win the Foundation World Championship? Why you not win the Blueprint Championship? Why you not win the Puma Tight Championship? And you talk about you better than me? Boy, please. So star in my ring, I'm gonna smash you like a fucking grapes. And so star, and what are you doing in foundation? Nothing. All my fans is in the back. Not believing you, so star, because you are a sore loser. I don't know why they let you begin to win with me. You're not in my level, Soul Star. And you talk about me? I have got the highest score in Foundation history. 97 points. 97 points, Soul Star. If you're not going to make it to 97 points, no, Soul Star. Maybe you're going to get like 65 points because you're not in my fucking level, Soul Star. So Star, I don't know why you try to be a cop so bad. You any good ready to wanna be. You can't be a cop. You can't arrest me. You you can't put me AP down. You supposed to be a damn cop. Hell no, you a fucking crook. Because I hate crooked cops. Matter of fact, I hate cops. And you try to be a cop so bad, Soul Star, you cannot arrest me, buddy. I'm free to go. I'm the number one promo artist in the ring. And you know I'm better than you, Soul Star, because anybody know I'm better than you. And you know that. Soul Star, you piss me off. You are. You took all that trash. Are you? Because why? Why you do it to yourself? Why you try to hurt me? Why you try to put it down in my wing? And you can't do that, Soul Star, because you not Soul Star. You get in the ring with the most dangerous man in five nation. Three most dangerous ladders. A E P. After the bell wings, you better send my name, boy, because I'm not the one. And tonight, Soul Star, you're gonna back up the king because you are a fake ass cop. Because I'm the only person gonna wrench your ass in my wing and I'll put your ass in jail. If you wanna call 911, I'm gonna call you now on one because it's not gonna happen. Hey, that's a victory for AEP, but in one week's time, he is gonna have to take on Super Smash Promo, and I don't think he's gonna get very far if he can't find himself a partner. Folks, during the last few weeks, we have slowly trickled out the inductees to the Foundation Hall of Fame. There is one left to reveal. I promised it to you, and here it is now. One of the most obscure trivia questions in Foundation history. 
who faced landfill in the inaugural tournament? The answer is this man. Super Swamp Donkey is here. If it hadn't been for Cotton Eye Joe, I'd been married a long time ago. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from, Cotton Eye Joe? If it hadn't been for Cotton Eye Joe, I'd been married a long time ago. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from, Cotton Eye Joe? And a big congratulations to the Swampy Donk Man getting himself immortalized into the Hall of Legends. Folks, the last couple weeks we have tried to bring you Talk His Trent featuring the Foundation World Champion Ultra Ego Bones, but he's been unsuccessful as of now. Are we gonna get strike three? or his third time the charm, I am sitting and waiting patiently, so let's take it to Talk Is Trent. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very sorry, but once again, Beast Mode Bones is not here. He didn't make time to come out on this show and, you know, talk to me and talk to all of you good people. You know, you're the people I'm fighting for at starting point, for real, because Bones doesn't care about your time. He sees being on Bloomprint as being beneath him. He only believes in being on the pay-per-views and the super cards, but I am here week in and week out, and I'm doing things for you. You all boo me. You all hate me. I understand, but trust me. Trust me. I'm doing this for you. But Bones didn't want to make time to come out and see his adoring public. So what does this mean? It means that, unfortunately... He's so lazy and so self-absorbed and sitting atop his throne of lies that he continues to build that he just didn't want to come out and face the music and face the reality that at starting point, it's going to be the end of his career as we know it. But rest assured, hear my words. I will be walking out of starting point with the world championship around my waist. Bones. I'm done with the disrespect. We advertised you for three whole weeks now. And you just couldn't get off your ass and come to the show. You're not just bad. You're horrible. And I'm just better. Folks, it appears that we are not going to get any kind of championship interaction between these two until they are contractually obligated to do so in one week's time at Foundation Starting Point 2024. But right now, let's move forward in this week's matchup action as the master of reality takes on Mr. DOA, Jack Saban, to the match. Is reality a construct, an illusion, a mirage? How can one be a master of something that you cannot see? A master of a class that is unhinged by his own design. Reality is a construct that is played down by the usurper mindsets of humanity. We create this reality in the aspect that maybe one day will usurp the government and will come rising from the ashes like a mighty phoenix. But this reality, however, is not. The master of reality is just focusing on the true but yet faltering aspects. And yet you desire what is right. Your true justice, your true vindication, if you will. 
Mr. Reality. You ain't no gamer, that's for sure. Because the only master that you are is the king of the masturbation session in Pornhub. Right in the categories between POI and JOV. Because you are nothing more than a fucking amateur going through playing with your droid constructs, playing through Atari while I'm going through the PlayStation. Because you are what I call yesterday's news. A flash in the palm, a thing of the past, nothing more, nothing less. You are what I call Taz, while I'm currently Ricochet. You are nothing more than the aspect. A damn cancer and a damn thought pattern in the mind. Cause you are what is stepping between me and opportunity. You see, the aspects that you see are shortening to say the least. To become a usurper or a master of your own aspect, you must forget who you were before. A thing in the past, nah. Once a nobody, maybe. But you will have to see the world for what it truly is. Nothing more than a concave aspect of reality. You have to accept it for what it is. And you are just a little short of the game. You lost that set game a year ago. And I'm here on a mission from the great Odin himself. The great ancestors of Puerto Rico themselves. That I will maintain my gold. My goal. I will go into starting point. And I will walk out number one contender. But now. I will finish by taking the mantle. And breaking it downward. All hail the prince of the Caribbean. All hail. Jack fucking Sabin and embrace something that you will never see in the light of day the comeback kid finally obtained something more wild by getting the biggest upset of anyone's career upsetting a ghost of foundations past and letting it die once and for fucking all Target set. Thank you, young gun. Target acquired. Bang. Have a nice fucking day. <laughs> Mr. DOA, Jack Saban takes on the master of reality. Oh, Jack, I, I don't even understand why you're already in the position you're in, but the powers that be put me and you in a match, and everybody knows it's going to be a squash. And you know how I know that, Jack? It's because you are right about one thing. You are right being Mr. DOA because every damn time I listen to a promo from you, you are dead on arrival. And I'm not talking about this uh, immortal being. I mean, every word that you speak falls flat. No creativity. No originality. You don't want to be who you really are. You try to scoop up every gimmick you can, wrap it up in a one, and then sound like a crazy person and throw in your opponent's name here and there and think you can call that a damn promo. When there's free things and free resources that you could use that you could legitimately become a good man. A good promo artist, but no, for years and years, Jack. Not just the last few months. No, I've seen you do the same damn thing a year after year, and you never listen to anybody. But that's the thing. You must be insane because you keep doing the damn thing over and over and over and over thinking that you're going to get a different results 
you know what you found. You don't wear championships, especially here in the Foundation or probably even WGP. Hell, you don't even deserve to be in the same ring. But now I had to teach you a lesson because maybe you can listen to the reality instead of the illusion because you need a damn slap on that damn face. Because you need to understand, Jack, that the master of reality is in the position that he's in because I am that damn good and you are in the position that you're in because they could not find a top talent to face me so they knew that when they threw me in the ring with you I would run you over like the bitch that you are because everything that spews out of your mouth is the train of thought that runs through the minds of people in the insane asylums that are redeemed crazy and not the good kind either. Because we do have crazy promo artists and then we have dumb shits named Jack Saban, the jobbers that just take the place because they don't have anybody good enough to face me. But I wanna end, I wanna end this little promo, this little match with a warning, not for you, Jack. No, because I know this, this is gonna be on Blueprint. This is gonna have the attention of everybody. And I know for certain that you, Storyteller, are watching. I will find you. And I will make you fight me. You will not spit on disgrace me. I will find you no matter what starting point it's my time well what a win i think we're gonna see some more of m-o-r as he takes on the storyteller at starting point. Folks, we're just moving right through this show. I know we gotta wait a whole week, but let's take a quick look right now, have a break, and see what else we can look forward to in the promo world. Foundation Blueprint match left between here and Starting Point, and it is our main event featured attraction of the evening. The owner of the Foundation, Hollywood Haywood, will be tangling with the Army of One in a Hell in a Cell match next week, but here and now he's going to take on his tag team partner. Let's get it going as Hollywood Haywood takes on the chosen Jason Ridian. Well, 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 Blueprint, welcome 
to Hollywood Haywood versus yet another chosen one, Mr. Ridian. Mr. Ridian, you came into the foundation with so much potential, wanting to share your experiences with the roster, wanting to give them hope, give them a taste of what you had went through, your trials and your tribulations. And when I looked at you, I thought that's a man, that's a man who could be somebody in this business. And then within a matter of weeks, you went from having an incredible chance at being a leader to being nothing more than a pathetic, good golly follower for a leader who doesn't deserve to lead. I mean, have you looked around you, Ridian? Sure, he's led you to the tag team championships, but that's like saying you're the smartest man on the short bus. Because who have you two defeated as a tag team? You see, your leader, the army of one, has lied to you. And the rest of the Chosen have been smart enough to see it. I mean, why do you think that TK3 sacrificed his own leader to get his briefcase back? Because he knew that he couldn't beat God just like you can. You came to the foundation talking about God and all the trials and tribulations that you had went through. Well, today you face your biggest trial, your biggest tribulation, and I have to call you the biggest idiot in all of the chosen Jason Redian. Why would you sacrifice yourself to God a week before you defend and try to unify the foundation tag team championships against two other gods known as the Night Kings, the foundation and WGP world champion, Ultra Ego Bones, and the prototype and Havoc champion, Bobby Miller. Because I'm going to weaken you. I'm going to make you feel insecure. I'm going to make you feel all those feelings that when you truly think about your leader, you feel. Be honest, Mr. Ridian. He doesn't give you the warm fuzzies, does he? You've watched him get his ass kicked time and time again. And there's nothing you've been able to do to stop it. Because he's not a leader. He's a creation. A creation born from me. He's a Hollywood Haywood wannabe that will never be. And that's what eats him up. You guys talked about the golden hour. You had a three month head start on me. You want to see a golden hour? Look at the BWO. We did that in two months and I can't even win a championship here. So Mr. Ridian, tonight you have been schooled in what it's like to be embarrassed. So go back to your leader. Go back to the army of one and you tell him what you saw here tonight. Because it's just a small sample of what's gonna happen when he steps inside that cell with me. Hollywood Haywood, you know, it wasn't too long ago that you and your disciples put out a 10 promo commandments for everyone to follow. You know, I too have 10 commandments that I follow. But these commandments, unlike yours, are one that I base my life on, what founds my faith. 
and you done broke the first and most important of those commandments. No gods before him. What gives you the audacity to be bold enough to proclaim yourself a deity? Maybe it was a couple months ago when my partner, the Army of One, knocked you out and thus knocked a few wires loose in that brain of yours. Maybe you're such a egomaniac that you need people to worship you so you can actually have a break from praising yourself. Or most likely, you're afraid of Gozer. Are you a god? No. Then... Yeah. Regardless of your mental illness, we are but a week away before Tyler, the army of one, permanently ends you inside a hell in a cell. Now, tonight, I get the privilege to lay my hands on you. But I'm reminded of the words in 1 Timothy, where we are instructed to not be hasty in the laying on of hands. But, oh, believe me, I am not being hasty. I am being deliberate as my closed fists are laid on your face repeatedly. Then, if you should even dare to take that shirt off, I shall proceed to shove that vape scented soot spoked shirt so far down your throat that you're gonna need an x-ray to find a designer label. You talk a good talk, but it's nothing more than a smokescreen to hide your fear. The fear of being exposed. The fear of wrath that's coming your way. You see, the difference between you and me is simple. You speak of your own commandments. You claim divinity and you mislead your followers to be blinded by your lies. But it will not be long before the darkness is snuffed out by the light. You see, Haywood, I don't need a pulpit or a grand proclamation to proclaim my worth. My actions speak louder than any lie that you could ever deliver. And when that bell rings tonight, you will find no salvation, no redemption, only retribution. I hope that you had your fun playing God because it's time for me to deliver you a reality check that you do not have the funds to cash. Prepare yourself, Haywood. The time for reckoning is at hand and at the end of tonight, your commandments will be nothing but gibberish and your legacy in shambles. And when the dust settles, the only thing left of Hollywood Haywood will be a cautionary tale of what happens when you break the first commandment. And Haywood wins it tonight, looking forward to a repeat performance next week as he headlines night one of Starting Point. Folks, make sure you've got your subscriptions paid, your notifications enabled. You can see it here, first on YouTube, second on Facebook, I don't know's on third. Let's take one last look at Foundation Starting Point and we'll see it all happen in one week's time. Ladies and gents, this is the moment you've waited for You've been searching in the dark, your sweat soaking through the floor And buried in your bones, there's an ache that you can't ignore Taking your breath, stealing your mind And all that was real is left behind Don't fight it, it's coming for you, running at you It's only this moment, don't care what comes after your fever dream, can't you see, getting closer Just surrender, cause you feel the feeling taking over 